Hey my pretty people, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya. I film all kinds of girly beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and motivational type of content. On this channel, that means there's the vlogs, the hauls, the cute stuff, the inspo. Again, if you're new, hello. Pepto-Bismol threw up in this video. I wanted to sit down and film for you guys today, catch you guys up what's going on. Post to post a video on Sunday. It didn't happen because our internet was down all the way until Tuesday. Like it wasn't down the whole day, but it was like glitchy. Like it would be on then off and on then off. And if you guys are not aware, it takes two to three hours to like get a video to upload. With the spotty internet, it was very difficult for me to upload my video so i decided in the meantime while i had some downtime i was going to clear my computer because i was running out of storage i deleted the video i had already edited <sighs> i deleted the video so i have to start over and re-edit that whole video so i decided i'm gonna sit down film a different video for you guys today because i cannot bear the thought of re-editing that video right now so i wanted to do a little girly haul i've been meaning to do this video because i have these bags okay just like taking up space and i'm dying to use this stuff and put it all away but i cannot believe that i've actually like put this stuff in bags and like not used it and just put it aside for as long as i have because this is a huge collective girly haul now, when i say collective i mean like months and months of me just like randomly going to the store and i find this one thing and i get it and like it's not like i got a bunch of stuff to do a haul for you guys so I'm not going to film a haul over like one or two items. So I just put them in these reusable bags. Put them in these reusable bags. And I just think to myself, okay, every time I get like one little thing here and there, I just add it to this bag. And then I film a collective girly haul. And this is usually cute finds like from Juicy Couture. Things I find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Things that are like just for a girly haul. It's not necessarily home decor and it's not necessarily fall decor. It's just girly stuff like bags hats cute stuff so when i tell you guys this was not purchased all at once i promise you guys this was not purchased all at once like this was little random trips went on here and there with friends a lot of my friends that like i've made here in la you know me as the pink girl who like finds the juicy couture stuff so naturally when i hang out with people what they want to do is go to burlington or tj maxx and hunt for juicy stuff so a lot of my friends and stuff here love to do that with me so i will go with them and then i'll find one or two items because it's incredibly difficult to find the, the viral and the cute juicy stuff because people line up at the door morning and buy it all out when i do find one thing or two i just put it in these reusable bags and i'm like i'm gonna do a haul i'm gonna do a haul still haven't done a haul i got so confused because yesterday i was like i'm gonna post tomorrow for pink wednesday girl that day was pink wednesday that day was pink wednesday like my days are all messed up because it just threw me off so bad when they started working on our internet and i don't know what spectrum was doing we have spectrum and they like had all of the internet down for maintenance or something like i just remember i played something on the tv to wash the dishes and then it just started loading and loading and it just never finished loading so okay the first thing i want to share with you guys i always share these in my girly hauls but it's because they're so beautiful and girly you could consider this home decor, I guess, but it's more so like a little luxury, like a little girly luxury. I got this new flower box from Rose Forever. I usually have a coupon code of some sort, so I will overlay it right here, but I just adore their Forever Roses. You guys know I used to DIY stuff like this, and it's so crazy now that I actually have the real ones so um i wanted to share with you guys this i don't know if you'll be able to see how baby pink it is because it's super pink in this room but it is baby pink like a very pale pink and here i just have my sl miss glam and miss liz heart collection so again i always put links in the description box if i can find any links to any of this and i will also put a link to a library so i started linking stuff on this website called shop my i'll overlay a screenshot here and I put this category, this tab that says finds, and on there I'm putting all the finds that I find at Marshalls and like .com and like girly finds that I actually find online just because I know going in store is tedious, sometimes you don't find anything. So if you guys are interested, those are affiliate links, so I do make a very small commission if you shop that. Thank you in advance if you do, and you know, it just helps me continue with my channel, and of course the time and effort that I do take to find and add these things to all of these 
very organized like libraries and stuff so if that makes you uncomfortable you obviously don't have to shop my affiliate links but you can at least go take a, a little browse and see if you see anything you like and then just go to marshalls.com and like search for it i never want anybody to feel obligated to use my links but it does help me out if you do so thank you so much if you do by the way rose forever does not like sponsor me like they don't pay me any money to show their boxes i just think they're so beautiful they do gift them to me and if you don't know what sponsored means sponsored means you got paid to make the post and gifted means that you just got the item gifted so that box was just gifted to me there is two of these gigantic bags just full there's gonna be a lot of juicy couture in here um, because I did find a lot and the thing is this juicy tracksuit jacket as we're getting into fall this kind of stuff is so nice especially here in LA the, because it doesn't get super freezing but it does get cold and this isn't too thick but it's just warm enough it just says juicy and it doesn't have a hood or anything it's just like a collar Burlington for $17.99 kind of expensive for Burlington huh I also found this cute hat from TJ Maxx this was $9.99 my friends found me this um, over by Orange County but they do also send me like when they find juicy and they're like do you want this and I most of the time say no but sometimes when it's something like this I have to say yes look at the pink houndstooth like this is just so cute like so cute I'm so excited to wear this like I haven't worn it just because I wanted to save it for this haul I wanted it to be brand new but yes this was found at TJ Maxx for $10 next juicy find I couldn't say no I will be selling another one of my mini backpacks because I just don't need this many but I'm going to replace it with this one because I love this one so much more. The velvet. They're slowly bringing back the OG Juicy styles. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. Look at how gorgeous this is. It's baby pink everywhere. But for the, the suede, the suede is like this beautiful tan color. This is so gorgeous. It has a little um, like coin pouch. These are super handy for traveling. I've used a couple of my juicy backpacks for traveling. Here's the inside. It's just the regular smegular print. Usually fit my iPad Air inside of this. When I travel, I love that the front pocket is like this because I can put like my passport and things in the front. It has like this cute little charm. I, I literally die with these little details, you guys. We love juicy. We're a juicy girl here. She's so cute. Tell me why I got this. <laughs> this is one of those things where I was like, oh my gosh, I freaked out over it. And now I'm like, why did I get this? I got a juicy lunchbox, you guys. Like, where am I going with a juicy lunchbox? <laughs> I mean, this would be cute to take your snacks at the airport and stuff. Another friend gave me the idea to use this as a makeup storage bag. Um, because how it's like insulated, your car will not melt your makeup if it's hot like especially if you're going on a road trip or if you forget your makeup in your car you're set right like it won't melt so i just love the details like these hearts have like a crown on them i mean it's literally just a lunchbox so this was at burlington for $16.99 really soft i think that's one of the selling points it's just how soft it was when i touched it next we have this big makeup bag when i saw this i was so excited because i would kind of use this more as a hair bag because it's the perfect size for your hair tools and your hair products and i don't normally like i have a hard time figuring out where to store my hair tools when i travel so i cannot even open it they've done this new thing where they like seal like they put like a like a plastic so you can't like open it in the store but it is pink on the inside so i have my little scissors so i can cut through that side it looks like this has a little pocket and these are the cutest bottles they started making them with the Juicy logo. These are perfect to put like your contact solution in and stuff. So I just love, I love that it has a front pocket. And just the fact that it's all pink on the inside, I love. This was at Burlington for $16.99. And this is like your OG Juicy with the blingy crown. There is a little key. I died. I did get a very special juicy bag that I'm going to save all the way until the end of this video. But the girl who mailed me that bag sent juicy socks to go with it. So cute. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Probably are not. But it was someone on Mercari and they sent me cute juicy socks. 
So I saw these like Chanel bags that were going viral, but they're like really mini, like it's like a wallet with a chain on it. And it was like these metallic colors. So when I saw this juicy wallet, I instantly just snatched it because I just, it reminded me of that Chanel bag. So I'm not going to get the Chanel bag. So I got the juicy wallet, but the thing that really just, I was like, oh my gosh, they are adding more and more details, you guys. Like this is like how OG Juicy Couture used to be. You would open your wallet and it had a quote in it. It was just the cutest thing. It just says, I fell in love with couture. And I'm just obsessed with this wallet. I don't buy too many juicy wallets because I just don't need any more. But this one really stood out to me. And I love that it has the keychain. I love these because I would just put them on my keys and go. We have another juicy hat. This one's the terry cloth material. And... I love that the little tag has a heart. I know you're just going to throw that away, but like I love little details like that. This was $10 and of course we're going to do try on. Look how cute this looks. I try on hats, okay? Because if the hat doesn't look good on, I'm not going to wear it. Like the ones that are super boxy at the front, I hate those kinds of hats. If you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know. I've always mentioned to you guys, I don't do these hauls just to like show off everything that I'm buying or like whatever. Genuinely, people love these hauls. Like, these super huge girly hauls are the most viewed on my channel. And you guys love seeing what I get. And I get it because I'm nosy and I love watching these as well. And I love seeing girly things and seeing what's out in stores and getting ideas, putting outfits together. And, like, that's kind of just, like, what fuels me and gives me serotonin. It's just, like, romanticizing my life, making everything beautiful around me. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Live your life however it makes you happy. So I did get these sandals for my mom. <laughs> these are not for me. They had them in her size. I would have got some for me if they had my size, but these are way too big. These are a seven, but I am a six. So I will be putting these in a little gift goodie bag I'm sending to my mama. My mom also wears a lot of chanclas. Like we have this inside joke in the mornings whenever we would stay with her. Like you would just hear click, 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 and you knew my mom was up and going. <laughs> Because she's always wearing flip-flops like that and they just like slap against her heel like when she walks and it's just like an inside joke my brothers and I have. I also got these Barbie slippers. So I bought these white Barbie slippers and then a week later my friend Diana gifted me the pink ones with the gold Barbie lettering. I wish I had them but I don't. They're in my bedroom right now. But I ended up wearing the ones Diana got me because she came over, we had a sleepover, we opened them, we wore them. And then I never ended up wearing these so i don't know if i'm gonna like sell or gift these because i don't need to i do have the pink ones already but these are really cute so let me know what you think should i keep these or not i'm like obsessed with anything sherpa material so that's kind of why i was drawn to these i'll not buy something just because it says barbie or juicy couture like it has to match my style it has to match i have to love it i don't know how to explain it like it has to really be something special for me to want it and i love anything sherpa and baby pink so i got this because as you guys know i do workout classes sometimes and i bring my stanley and i just thought it would be handy handy for my stanley to have a strap because i'm a tiny human and the stanley's huge so this was at burlington for 7.99 and i just love that it was blingy and i love the little pocket in the front like it has a bunch of these little pockets because you can store your phone in here and like your money or your wallet and then you don't even have to bring a purse your Stanley is your purse. I saw this at Burlington and it literally felt like Lululemon material and I had to get it. They are literally just little lounging shorts. They look like, I don't know what the style of Lululemon shorts that this looks like, but if you know, you know. And these were only $7.99. Like I would wear these with like the shirt I'm wearing now just to like lounge around the house, film, clean. And I just love a cute little shorty. Like this is like you take it on walks. It does have like tighter short underneath since the outside is flowy. It's just so cute. I found this shirt at Ross and I'm telling you guys these are all random finds that I found like one here, one there. This, this is like the only thing I picked up at Ross on one of the trips. I went for like some kind of essential. I think it was a scrub mommy or something. And I found this top and I just had to have it. Look at all the pearl embellishments. This is absolutely gorgeous so stunning this was really really inexpensive 11.99 for an embellished top like that's a really good price cannot wait to wear this here's more of a close-up okay continuing on i found these i don't know if it was burlington i'm gonna have to look closer at the tag but these adorable bow pajamas you guys 
I've been dying to wear these, but I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Yeah, this was definitely Burlington because they were only $10 because usually something like this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls is like $16.99. Burlington is the only place you'll find a pajama set for $10, just saying. The bows are just so cute. I love the bows. You remember my Christmas photos from like 2019, 2020? I would always wear a hair bow in my hair. The nostalgia. Now bows are like a big thing. It makes me so happy because you can find everything with bows now. I love it. Speaking of bows, I got bow slippers. And this is why I said I don't need to keep the Barbie ones because I also got these. So I'm just like, I'm probably going to get rid of the Barbie ones or I'm going to declutter some of my older slippers to fit these and the Barbie ones. I don't know, but these are my favorite like style of slippers. They make a bunch of different ones at Ross all the time. And I have like some ghost ones and those are my favorite. Before that, I had some fall ones. Those are also my favorite and I just love i guess because they're like a little structured so they're super comfortable to wear around the house because they have like that grip at the bottom i don't know but i love this style of slipper at ross and these are already like we might as well remove the packaging we're 8.99 so inexpensive i just these are so cute picked up a new journal to journal in i do like to do journaling and writing to do lists and stuff so this was from marshall's for 7.99 these are just basic it says notes in gold with the heart it's just gonna match my out my office so well I like this hello kitty journal that i was using for forever it's just time to retire her <laughs> manny actually gifted me these a while ago and they are just these gorgeous little like ditzy floral pajamas this is the shorts top is so cute so it has like the little bow on the neck kind of like this shirt like this and this just looks so comfy i cannot wait to wear this little dress i looked for everywhere in my size and i finally found it this was from marshall's and again it's just that ditzy floral print and this is so cute just for errands it's so comfy i love it from ross they had so many tops with bows like it's not even funny so i found this one it just gives me love shack fancy vibes and it's so cute you guys this was 7.99 at ross and then lastly i picked up this one from uh, also ross and this is very similar to what i'm wearing now but short sleeve super cute and this was $6.99 from the brand Faded Rose at Ross. Okay, so I have some jewelry uh, from when I went to the Callejones with my friend Amy. If you guys don't know what the Callejones are, it's like a basically a team you in real life. Um, it's like this alley in LA and they have all, like everything you can think of, quince dresses, outfits, makeup, jewelry, all the Hello Kitty you can ever imagine. Fake Stanley, like just a bunch of stuff. They have a bunch of stuff. But I always go to this one store where they have dollar jewelry because they have literally the best jewelry. Since I go to a lot of events, I look for cute little costume jewelry like this for certain outfits. So I got these little pink floral earrings. I got these hearts. Got these gorgeous bows. Silver hoops because I don't own that much silver. This gorgeous little necklace. It's a little mess like... I don't know, the chain's doing things, but yeah, it's so cute. These to match the Juicy Wallet. I got this one, which is my favorite. It reminds me of Sailor Moon, and the nerd in me loves this one. And then I got these just because they look like croissants, and that is the only reason why. Some more Juicy. I found this train case that looks like old school Juicy Couture with the Scotty dogs, and my jaw dropped. You guys, is pink. I had to. I had to. It comes with the little... Con I call it the contact solution bottle nowadays because one of my friends used it as a contact solution bottle and now I can't get it out of my head. Picked up this one. Look at her. So I recently decluttered because I had quite a bit of these. this style of juicy bag. So I decluttered some of the old ones and I replaced them with this. So what I do is when I find one I like more, I get rid of the old one if that makes sense like i'll sell it on poshmark or gift it to a family member or a friend if i find one i like more i'm just gonna get the one i like more and just get rid of the old one i don't know maybe that's not right and maybe that's overconsumption. who cares i wanted it so i got it i liked it i wanted it so i got it see it 
I like it. I want it. I got it. Our quilting on this is everything. The fact that it has the, the gold juicy. Ugh, I just love gold juicy. Gold juicy anything. And then the zipper says juicy. Like they're just making these better and better. Guys, the bag that I found. I was so happy when I found this. Look at her. So cute i love the bowling style bags and i know they have one that's just all baby pink i wish i could find her but i haven't this was 34.99 at marshall's but i mean this is just beautiful like the quality feels beautiful it even feels a little heavier than like the other juicy bags that i have found at marshall's and stuff i don't know i feel like they're really upping their game so it does have the little heart logo um i think the inside is just like their regular smegular print that they always do i'm waiting for the day that they change it and make the lining better i might as well name this like juicy couture haul most of it's like juicy so here's another find this one i just found not long ago so these are out now um this one i also found at the same time as this wallet so they are they do still have these out a lot of this stuff a lot of the juicy like some of the makeup bags were recent some not all but yes this is like a furry juicy couture heart this is so cute they had one similar to this last year and i saw it in stores and i kicked myself for not getting it so i'm so glad they have it so just saying if you don't end up getting something don't worry girl they're gonna come out with more they're gonna come out with more keep your eye out so it does have this little wrist chain which i think is really thoughtful and i love one thing i do wish though i wish it also had the keychain attachment so you can also hang it on your keys but that's just me being picky because this was literally just $12.99 at TJ Maxx. I just got some cute fall fuzzy socks from Betsy Johnson. These were $5.99. And Betsy Johnson has all the cute little fall jewelry. And then I did pick up another. This is mainly juicy, I'm noticing. So I picked up this juicy. This is like a kimono, but this is gorgeous. It's cream and baby pink. Like the palest, cutest baby pink on the inside cream on the outside and i'm assuming you could reverse this if you want but not really because it has a tag but it basically goes like this let me try to show you guys and it's just so cute it's like a scarf kimono uh hybrid it's so cute you can like put your arms out and i'm just gonna wear it well the video is almost done but i'm just gonna wear it next we have more juicy bags more juicy bags if you can even imagine if you can even believe so this was actually a gift from my friend Gina and she just found me this gorgeous juicy tote that I had been wanting forever. I love that it has a puffy heart. Everything about this is very coquette. It got a little oopsie on it somehow but I'm gonna clean it up with just some Jason and Mark. It's just a suede cleaner. And this is just perfection. Like it's so cute and girly and I love that the strap is also like so velvety. And chunky it's just so cute and the, they're like they're chunky and puffy i don't know i love puffy stuff you guys know so the fact that this is kind of puffy but coquette at the same time love this bag this is me in a juicy bag right there so i really needed bags that are not pink believe it or not so i wanted a casual cream bag because like i have two cream bags one's gucci and one's ysl but they're very like non-casual bags like those are luxury bags so i wanted a casual non-luxury bag so i got this cute quilted crossbody juicy bag believe it or not i don't always want to wear a pink bag i love white and cream bags and black bags so i have like one black bag but it serves its purpose okay it serves its purpose <laughs> so yes i love the, the color of this because it's like a bone color i don't know i don't like bright white purses it just depends but i feel like sometimes they can look cheap if they're bright white i prefer this off-white like cream bone color and this is just perfect it actually looks like luxurious and expensive in my opinion i don't know i have a very particular taste in the things that i want and like you could judge me if you want but i'm picky and i'm allowed to be because i'm spending my money on this stuff and i'm gonna wear what i like so I do love that it comes with this. This just reminds me of my um, 
what is that called that louis vuitton crossbody that i have but it's brown and pink it just reminds me of that so much and i use that so much that bag is one of my most used like casual bags we have one last burlington bag it's so fluffy and the bling is pink yes i had to pick this one up she was 9.99 at burlington but guys the details are what really gets me with certain things that i decide to get like look at the way that the zipper is it's like this matte pink heart and for whatever reason i thought that was the cutest thing ever and i love that the inside didn't have that black and white juicy lining like I, i'm just so happy it has just the pink lining and of course this also came with the contact case bottle or the contact solution bottle this is so big and so cute i'm traveling to texas for in the winter so she's coming with me because the furriness and everything such a vibe to bring to texas um, would be more of a vibe to take to antarctica but whatever and then the last well it's not the last i have one last juicy thing to show you after this but i did pick up this t-shirt that says juicy couture in silver i just thought that was a cute a cute little casual moment and she was on clearance for nine dollars so and she was really soft i didn't even know juicy was making t-shirts but this feels good quality so i'm just showing you guys it has this it's very like stretchy and cute and i'll just show you the tag because this tag looks different than like the normal pink tags you usually see so i don't know if that means something or if it was manufactured somewhere different i don't know okay guys the very last thing i got is this bag i told you guys it's i promise you it's worth the weight that you just waited which this weight was not a bad weight you got to see a lot of cute stuff during this weight okay so the very last last juicy bag can we not look at her so they started making these bags in the uk why juicy couture why why can't you give the us these kinds of bags this quality of bag like this is like their og quality through and through like it's heavy the the hardware is nice like look at the charm like like look look at the charms this is so cute and I love a cute Tootsie Roll bag. The only thing I will complain about. And I know they're I know they're working their way there. Where's the heart? Where's the pink leather heart on the side? <laughs> like I wanted this heart to be here as well. On the sides. With the little juicy couture quote or whatever it has. Their anthem. I don't know. But this is nice quality, guys. Like, look, it has, like, the little legs. Like, the inside, you will die. Stuffed it with its dust bag. It did come with a dust bag. It's an okay dust bag. It's not the best, but... The inside has this little coin pouch that also has a J charm. Like, the inside of this is so much cuter. Oh, it also has, like, this if you want to make it into, like, just a shoulder bag rather than a crossbody bag. Oh wow, my juicy, my juicy neck, like jewelry is in here. I did wear this already, so I'm assuming that's why, because one of my juicy charms is also in here. And a receipt. Amazing, beautiful. And a business card. So the inside is pink and blue. Similar interior to the ones in the US, but it just feels a lot nicer quality when you, like, to the touch. And it is a pink in black interior instead of pink and or instead of black and white and it has this gorgeous scotty dog i'm almost turning this bag inside out at this point but it does have this gorgeous scotty bag interior and it has a little pocket i just love this and i have been wearing it i took it to palm springs why did i take a velour bag to palm springs i don't know but it looked cute with my outfit going there <laughs> But once I was there and realized it was like 200 degrees, I was like, why am I wearing a velour bag in <laughs> Palm Springs? <laughs> but anyway, I digress. This is just adorable. I just, my favorite, this is the juicy bag of the year for me. My favorite juicy bag that I've found, that I have that I own at this point. This is like literally on the same level to me as the Pammy bag and like the, you guys know which ones I'm talking about, the baby pink ones that were released with Nordstrom, the ones you guys love and adore 
and I get people DMing me if I will sell it to them like all the time but it's like the mini if you guys know I'll overlay a picture right here it's the mini daydreamer and the other one's like a little satchel I did I overpay for this a little bit I'm sure I did but it was worth it to me because it's something that I really love as I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I hope you enjoyed tonight's girly collective haul I've been meaning to do this video discouraged about the whole vlog that I edited and I needed to just film something else so that I could just restart my brain because I was going insane like I'm gonna have to re-edit that <laughs> so I'm still going to post that vlog I'm still going to re-edit it just for today, I need to take a pause. I needed to take a breather and I needed to film something that I really, really, really have been wanting to film that I really enjoy doing. Just sitting down and filming today was needed for me because the filming part is a fun part for me. I love editing as well, but I didn't want to edit the same video twice. And I, be I was looking like crusty for like three days behind the computer, working, and I needed to get ready and I needed to film and I'm glad that I did this because now I can start over and edit that vlog tomorrow, have it up this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed the girly haul. I will be honest, I've been trying not to do a lot of crazy hauls because I just know that it's not relatable and like nobody, like nobody's shopping that hard. Like I know that it's been like rough for a lot of people so I don't want to sit here and be like look at all this stuff I bought. I wasn't like crazy shopping this year so all of this was collective. Things I found here and there ever since like probably March. Like I'm not even kidding. Some of it has been sitting in these bags for that long. To use, must have, had to need to use and not wait to haul was that last bag I showed you guys. I needed to use her immediately. Like I was so obsessed when I first got her. Guys, my camera said you talk too much girl in this video already so <laughs> the battery died so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go i love you i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye